A lot of balls over the heart of the plate, thigh high. Um, really just couldn't put the ball where he wanted it. And uh, they didn't miss a whole lot. Did you make a number 50 swing? <laughs> 102 miles an hour off the bat. Pretty yeah, good. his first swing uh, definitely wasn't trying to hit a single, I'll tell you that. Um, I just went into the video room as soon as the game ended, and he's in front of one of the computers analyzing the swing. So um, that's way no for you. Was the plan to get him a couple with his DH? Or we, we put him in at DH. Were you just the one, or is he going to stick around? He, he, no, um, by rule, I have to because take him out, correct. But if we were going to do it the way that game was going, uh, do it while there's still some people in the stands. So figured uh, get it in earlier than later. How important is it going to be for you all to end this season with the positivity of that energy from him, of, of being able as a group to sort of appreciate him and have people here appreciate him and, and end the season that way? compared to how the season might otherwise be ended. Yeah, I mean, he's deserving of it. This is a guy that means a lot to not only this organization, but to this city. And he's he's done a lot on the field and off the field, and he deserves every ovation, every bit of people flying in to see it, um, former players coming in, I mean, all of it. And uh, it's special. On, on the other side, you wish you could put a good game together over the next couple of days because um, it just feels better. But regardless, you want to make sure it's special for Wayno uh, in every sense. Yeah. With the uh, Woodford, how you evaluate just how this year went for him? Um, had his ups and downs. Um, there's stuff that he's been working on. Um, this outing wasn't his best, and there's work to be done. Yeah.